the crime by Rodney Tongai Jindu is a shocking and gruesome case of murder and mutilation that took place in Ubulawayo in 2017. Rodney, a 26-year-old former pupil of the prestigious Petra High School, confessed to killing two of his friends, Mboneli Chokonyule and Sirian Kuzurunga, and burying their body parts in different locations. He also claimed that he was planning to sell some of the organs to a South African traditional healer for instant riches. Here is an account of the crimes by Rodney Tongai Jindu. His first victim was Mboneli Jokonwobe, also known as Mbono to his friends. He was a 30-year-old man who worked as a mechanic and taxi driver. He was also a close friend of Rodney who often visited his home in Glengarry suburb. On the 29th of January 2017, Mube went missing after he was last seen with Rodney at a local bar. His family reported him missing to the police and launched a search for him. They also contacted Rodney who claimed that he had dropped off Mube at his home after they had drinks together. However, Rodney's story did not add up as Mube's car was found abandoned near Rodney's house with blood stains on the seat and in the boat. The police also found Nube's cell phone and wallet at Rodney's residence. When they interrogated Rodney, he confessed to shooting Nube in the back of the head while they were walking home at night. He then drove Nube's car to his house where he cut off his head, arms and legs with a hacksaw. He then buried the torso in a shallow grave in Burnside suburb and dumped the head and limbs in different places. Rodney also revealed that he had taken Nube's heart, liver, and genitals and kept them in a freezer. He said that he was planning to sell them to a South African traditional healer who had promised him 25,000 for the human organs. He said that he had contacted the healer through WhatsApp and that he had sent him pictures of the organs as proof. His second victim was Sidian Kudzurunga. Sidian, also known as Kudzi, was a 20-year-old man who lived next door to Rodney in Glengarry suburb. He was a friend of Rodney who often borrowed money and cigarettes from him. On the 1st of February 2017, Kudzurunga went missing after he was last seen with Rodney at his house. His family reported him missing to the police and suspected that Rodney was involved. When the police questioned Rodney, he initially denied any knowledge of Kudzurunga's whereabouts. However, after further interrogation, he admitted to killing Kudzurunga in a similar manner as Mube. He said that he had shot Kudzurunga in the back of the head while they were sitting in his car outside his house. He then dragged his body into his house where he cut off his head arms and legs with a hacksaw. He then buried the torso in another shallow grave in Burnside suburb and disposed of the head and limbs in different places. Rodney also confessed that he had taken Kudzurunga's heart, liver and genitals and also stored them in a freezer. He was planning to sell them to the same South African traditional healer who had increased his offer to 30,000 US dollars for more human organs. On the 3rd of February 2017, Rodney was arrested by the police and charged with two counts of murder. He led the police to the graves where he had buried the torsos of his victims and to the places where he had dumped their heads and limbs. He also showed the police the freezer where he had kept the organs of his victims and the WhatsApp messages he had exchanged with the South African traditional healer. The police recovered the organs and the weapons he had used to kill and dismember his victims. Rodney appeared in court on the 6th of February 2017, where he pled guilty to both charges of murder. He told the court that he was sorry for what he had done and that he was suffering from mental illness. He requested for an assisted suicide, saying that he did not want to live anymore. The court rejected his request and ordered him to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. He was remanded in custody at Kami Maximum Prison, awaiting his sentencing. On the 27th of November 2017, Jindu was sentenced to death by hanging by the Bulawayo High Court. The judge said that Rodney had committed the most heinous and barbaric crimes and that he deserved the ultimate punishment. He said that Rodney had shown no remorse and that he had betrayed the trust and friendship of his victims. He also said that Rodney had tarnished the image of Zimbabwe and that he had brought shame and horror to the nation. 
he dismissed Rodney's claim of mental illness, saying that he had acted with premeditation and deliberation. He said that Rodney had no respect for human life and that he had treated his victims like animals. Rodney did not show any emotion as he received his death sentence. He was taken back to Kami Maximum Prison, where he is currently awaiting his execution.